That is a Dev Shiva mix. It's off an album and the, uh, called EK, which means oneness, and it's done by my next guest, one of the world's leading interpreters of sacred Sikh curtain music, has released her deepest and most accomplished recorded work to date. Manika Kerr's album EK which will be released next month, remains true to the venerated traditions of Kirtan and features some of the rarest instruments in the world. And I'm delighted to say she joins me now. Good morning. Today. Uh, very well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tell us a bit about this album, because this is an album that features, as I mentioned, some really rare instruments, but also... It takes people, I suppose, or opens the door into the Sikh Kirtan. Yes, um, the album is called Ek. Um, so you said E-K, which is, is how it's spelled, but it's Ek. And Ek means one or oneness. Um, and it's actually the very first when you open the Sikh Holy Scriptures, because this, the music that I'm singing is known as Kirtan. And Kirtan is a Sikh form of devotional music. And the very first word when you open the Sikh Holy Scriptures is ek. And it's that reminder of the oneness that we all are, and which is why I called this album ek. And I kind of um, was able to find very interesting instruments and musicians, like on the track you just played, Behe Shiva, the Shanai is played by Sanjeev Shankar, and um, Sukhvinder Singh Pinky has played tabla, on other instruments, on other tracks, I've got saxophone, um, which you wouldn't normally find in Kirtan music. And I've got um, strings and guitars and bansuri. And so it's, it was really interesting to create this album and find all of these fantastic musicians to come and feature on each and every track. Mm. And just looking for instruments that are really rarely played today, like the sarangi um, on one of the tracks is played by Suhail Yusuf Khan. And um, just to have these kind of instrumentalists come and, and put their mark on the music, mm. I really feel like that's taken this album to a whole nother level. So we're really excited with this album that's also been signed by Six Degrees in the U.S. Um, and it's kind of just taken Kirtan to a new place. And it's definitely not me on my own. It is the combination of these things and mm. these 
individuals. Tell me a bit more about Kirtan itself and its role within Sikh worship. Um, Kirtan is, um, I guess the way I define it, is like the purest love letters to God. So the, the actual hymns are taken out of the Sikh holy scriptures, so kind of like a Bible, um, but for the Sikh community. Passages are taken out. You could refer to them as hymns or shabads, but when you put music to it, it, it gets known as kirtan. So it, for me, kirtan is what helps to open up our inner essence. Misery comes from when we are unaware of our divine self, and that causes us to live fearfully. And then we create this mind-made self, also known as the ego, and we desperately cling on to this ego, this false self. Mm. And then everything we do and every kind of like the, when we interact with people and the jobs we take and the things we do and the way we handle our children, it comes from this place of ego. Kirtan, meditation, prayer, it helps you to recognize the shadows within yourself so that you can recognize your true self, your divine self, and move from that place of love and that realization, that place of compassion mm. So Kirtan is about recognizing the true self and overcoming the ego. And so for a Sikh, it's very important, and it's kind of all Sikhs are meant to meditate daily um, and pray daily, and that, that's actually two different things, prayer and meditation. Um, singing Kirtan, um, so it's like a musical form of meditation. Mm. Um, and to do charity work every day. And that's financially we're expected to do charity, which is why as a very small community, we're one of the biggest donors um, and charitable communities in the world, but also um, charity through actually physical charity. So mm -hmm. going and helping people in a physical way, going to seek temples and cooking food and then distributing it out like through the pandemic, which is what the Sikh temples have done. So volunteering. Yeah. And, and, and talking about charity, this particular, uh, you, your recorded work is, is all, all the, 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 the money raised from these recorded works are all put back into charity, is that right? Absolutely. So I established um, my own charity called Kirtan for Causes. So that kind of is my mission statement for my life because I spend my life creating these Kirtans and uh, videos and blogs and vlogs and just telling people about the problems that are in Punjab and what the children in Punjab are facing, what their parents are facing. And then all the money um, from my music is donated to educating girls, boys and girls, but with more of a focus on girls because they're left behind um, in battling with period poverty. Um, and that's not only in Punjab, that's outside Punjab as well. Um, and uh, we've built homes there. We've sent out solar lights. Um, if families need medical care, we have a very big problem there with farmer suicide, which I've been talking about for 10 years now. But it's coming more and more apparent to the world now with the, the protests going on, um, with the farmer protests going yes. on in Delhi at the moment. Mm -hmm. People are becoming aware now of how difficult the situation is for um, farming families. And this is not just in Punjab. This is all outside of Punjab in every state, where cause, because 50% of the workforce in India are in the farming sector. Mm. So this is now becoming more relevant, which I think is a beautiful thing because hundreds of thousands of farmers are committing suicide all the time. And, you know, to go in and sponsor a child and then three weeks later, their father has taken his life. And, and, and it's usually the farming families. It's the families that come from a farming background where this happens. Mm. So I've just spent 10 years creating music and um, doing some concerts and really trying to make whatever difference I can. And it's, it's a small difference. I'm like an ant. We need an <laughs> army, and I'm like an ant in that mix. But it's, it's well, my way of doing something. Sure. I, I don't think you should undersell your contribution, though, Monica. Let's talk <laughs> about um, women within the real of, uh, role of Curtain, though, because it's quite unusual to have female singing. Yes. It, I mean, within Sikhism, there is equality between men and women. Guru Nanak, um, who is the founder of Sikhism, actually promotes equality. Um, when he um, 
brought out his teachings. He removed the practice of sati, for example, which was when women would be burned on their burnt alive on their husband's funeral fire hmm. because they were seen as worthless without a man. So he stopped that. There was also a huge caste system in India. There was a group of people known as untouchables. Based on their name, they were known as this, they lived on the outskirts of society. And Guru Nanak said, all are equal in the eyes of God. There is no high and there is no low. And that's why ik is so important, because Guru Nanak's fundamental message to the world is, we are one. We are from that one source of love, that one source of light. And in recognizing the oneness in each other, that is what will change this world. And so with everything that's going on in the world, creating this album and titling it Ache just means so much more to me. And I think that I hope that it will have an impact on people who listen to it and especially the younger generation in finding this space inside them. This, this world inside them when they can't go and access the world outside them. Mm. Manika, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Lovely to speak to you, Manika Kerr. Uh, the album Ake, it's spelled E-K, just in case you're wondering, and, and her surname is spelled K-A-U-R. Uh, and uh, I played earlier from that, Dev Shiva, a mix. Um, BBC Radio London, I'm Jamoke Fashala. It's your Sunday breakfast programme. Just a reminder that from next week, we're back at 6am, so it'll be 6